being questioned every day. But we are the most patriotic. We receive discrimination, prejudice, Islamophobia, and we love our country despite that. We are the most patriotic. Our women are under attack saying that they are oppressed because they want to be modest and follow God's command in the workplace. We are, we love our country despite that. To be Muslim, to be American, and to be a soldier is sometimes not to get the best jobs, the best opportunities, the best reports, and even the closeness that you desire with your in relationships with your colleagues because your teammates have bought into the false narrative that all Muslims are bad, bad people. You see, Muslims can't be real Americans or real patriotic. We endure that, and yet we still love our country and loyal to its ideals and traditions. You see, this journey as a Muslim is not for the faint of heart. It's a journey of persistence, patience, and perseverance. And the journey of being an American Muslim soldier is a journey of persistence, patience, and perseverance. And these, of course, are not mutually exclusive. But to be a Muslim, an American, and a soldier, you have to overcome implicit bias, discrimination, xenophobia, insidious discrimination from your own brothers and sisters who are on the front line with you. But we will not be deterred. We are Americans, and we deserve all that comes under that banner. Listen. You see, the Quran says, don't let the hatred of a people move you to deal unjustly. You see, you know what you do when a people hate you and discriminate against you? If you are not in sound mind, 30-30, fitra, you reduce yourself. You, re you doubt yourself because of their hate. You do what you, when they, are, when they make you afraid. People are going around discriminate against you. What do you do? You internalize that. You try to make yourself less Muslim, less threatening, more amenable. You start tripping all over yourself until there's no more selfless, and then you blame them. No, 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 no. You should blame yourself because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, don't let the hatred of a people move you to be unjustly specifically to yourself because when you allow hatred to run unchecked then you will be unjust to yourself when you allow prejudice to run unchecked you will be unjust to yourself and this would almost be okay if it only affected you but your children or make, seeing you make those type of concessions to an unworthy God of lust, prosperity, and positions. Listen to me. You are not only ambassadors for the world, you are ambassadors for your own household. Your children, who are weighing you every day on what a Muslim is and what a Muslim not is not what a responsibility that is. And we have no right to, to shrink in that responsibility. You see, this is why the Quran distinguishes between a believer and a Muslim. Oh, no, no, listen to me. The Quran distinguishes between a believer and a Muslim. The Quran says, don't say that you believe. Say that you have submitted. There's a difference. You see, when you are a Muslim, and we won't deny that, but you run from every difficulty. You hide so you can make it to tomorrow, so you can hide tomorrow. But if you are a believer, you are bold in your confidence being a Muslim. A believer is confident in themselves because they know without a doubt they're intelligent people and they have obtained faith and they can be comfortable in any environment at any time with any people. 
and not lose their relationship with their Lord. Oh, I'm going to say that again because I don't want you to miss that. A believer is bold in his or her confidence in themselves as a Muslim. A believer is confident in themselves as an intelligent person who made a rational decision and logical decision to obtain this faith of Islam. So they can be comfortable in any environment at any time with any people and the most important thing and not lose their relationship with their Lord. 